This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. If you guys feel up to it, I think we're going to stop here and take a look at the amazing pen tool. Now, there is a document in your exercise files called Pen Tool 101, and it comes with this beautiful self-portrait that was done with a pen tool. Now, you know that's really not me for one basic reason. He's wearing a tie. I haven't worn a tie in years. Let's explore the pen tool in a real basic 101 kind of way, and we'll get more detailed as these movies, these lessons progress in this chapter. Now, the pen tool is right up here. If you click and hold on the pen tool, you see a whole bunch of stuff. We'll talk about this stuff later. Go to the pen tool. When you move over, you should see a pen and an asterisk. If you see this, you are in Precision Tools. Now, you can get there either from the preferences and say, I always want to see these, or you've accidentally or on purpose pressed the cap lock key. If I press cap lock again, it toggles back. So if you don't see that, if you see the X, press your cap lock key, you'll see it. The asterisk means that we're starting something new. There is nothing we're connecting to. And if we go somewhere and click, this is just 101, just go somewhere and click. You're creating a pen point, an anchor point. Now the asterisk goes away. Now what that means is you may not see that point, but when you click, you're connecting somewhere. And if we go anywhere we want, say get right about here. Now I have smart guides off. Otherwise I'd be seeing lines telling me I'm straight or whatever. But if I hold the shift key down, it does guarantee I will go straight from one point to the other. So if I shift and then click again, I've created a straight line path. Now the cursor still does not have an asterisk. It's still following me. It says, well, what do you want to do next? Because whatever you do, I'm going to connect everything together for you. And if we come down to about here and click again, the easiest shape you can make two-dimensionally is a triangle. And if we come back here, you'll see a little circle appear, meaning you're about to close the shape off. If you do, you've made a triangle, and the asterisk comes back, meaning what? Meaning, hey, I'm ready to draw something new for you. But what if I don't want to close the shape off? There's a couple of ways we can get around that. Number one, if I click here again, and I come over here and hold the shift key down, and I click here, I just wanted a straight path. I don't want anything else. But if I go somewhere and click, it's actually going to do that. And there's a couple of things we can do. The shortcut to me is the easiest way. Reach over on your keyboard and click what I call the temporary selection tool and hold down the control key and you'll see you get the selection tool even though you're on the pen tool. Click anywhere you want and when you come back, you can start again. That's an easy way if you're making open paths to just actually control, click somewhere else and you can start again. Now, if all this tool could do is draw straight lines, it would be rather boring, I want to tell you that. So, what we can do is draw curves. Now, curves requires a little bit more work. What we do is say, come to about here and click and drag. Now, when you do that, you're creating these direction lines off of each side of the anchor point. Think of it this way. That's pulling the curve. It's pulling the path. It's going to make it more curved if I do this, less curved if I do this. And, of course, we can change this later, as you're going to see. Now, if you hold the shift key down, it guarantees it's nice and straight and up and down, but you may not want it that way either. So say I go right about here and go ahead and let go. Now, there's nothing there yet, obviously, because there's no path for it to react to. So I click right about here and drag down to, oh, I don't know, say there. Come over to here and click and drag down again. Now, if I want to stop here, I can hold my control key, my temporary selection tool and click somewhere and I begin to get a wavy line. This tool will draw anything that you want. It will do anything from, I don't know, a Jurassic Park dinosaur to my beautiful self-portrait over there. Doesn't matter. You just need to know how to control this tool. And that's what we're going to get into in this chapter. On to the next.